Hello everyone, I am your coach of the New York Makies, Maui Goomba. Welcome to week six of the LET. In this part of the video, we're gonna go over my team and why I'm bringing what I'm bringing. Uh, so, first of all, we're going up against Jerry the Boss, I believe is his name, as the coach of the Harrisburg Hitmonlees. He's got an interesting team, I'm pulling it up right now. Yeah, Jerry the Boss. Uh, he has Necrozma, Incineroar, Tangrowth, Alolan Ninetales, Noivern, who is his kill leader at 6, Surfetch, Jellicent, Licky Licky, Rhydon, Sand, Alolan Sandslash, and Shelmet. All things considered, he doesn't have an S tier, which is interesting. He has a high A tier, like uh, Necrozma's A plus in the league. But besides that, he doesn't have an S tier, but I don't think that really matters. Honestly, I'm kind of scared of his Firewater Grass, because Tangrowth, Incineroar, and Jellicent are just all really bulky mons. Uh, overall, I think this is a fairly good matchup. But besides, I will in Ninetales, I don't think he'll bring, but if he does bring it, I have a reason to just wall it, but... I'm really scared of the Noivern. I think the Noivern's probably his biggest threat for me. A little bit nine tails, or Surfetch might be a bit bigger just because I have quite a bit of fight fighting weakness. But anyway, let's get into the team now. First up, as you can see, we have my Corona, the Bull Corona. I think this is a pretty standard threat. I I wanted to run something other than heavy duty boots this week, but he has so many rock setters, it's almost going to be impossible to keep rocks off the field i feel uh so quiver dance fire blast bug buzz giga drain this thing just tears a hole in his team there isn't much that wants to come out on a fire blast like incineroar could come out but then he gets bug buzzed and that still does a lot of damage and it doesn't get a rock type move to uh ko which is really nice Necrozma, I can't bring Volcarone out on Necrozma unless I have, like, plus one. Because I'm so... I If he brings it, I don't think he'll bring it. But if he brings it, Meteor Beam is terrifying. Meteor Beam Power Herb will just destroy Volcarona. So I have to play around knowing that fact. Um, Next up, we have... I know, I know. I'm smurfing uh, Whimsicott, Leftovers, it's Prankster. Max Defense, because this thing is kind of just here to wall... Uh, Surfetch, Licky Licky, Rhydon, Alolan Sandslash gets kinda walled, Shelmet, uh, it's a ta I wanted to set Tailwind and just give everything else the need for speed, I guess, is the best way to put it. U-turn to switch out once it's Tailwinded, Taunt to keep up from being set up on, and Knockoff, if he brings the Shelmet, that thing is really bulky, and I don't want to deal with it having Eevee Light. Uh, next up, we have Poindexter, the Rotom Wash, running uh, Trick Scarf Set. Actually puts in quite a bit of work against his team, to be honest. Like, Rhydon doesn't want to take a Hydro Pump. And yeah, it can come in on the Volt Switch, but it's nice. Jellicent can't really take anything. Doesn't really want to come in on this. Surfetch could, and use First Impression, but besides that, it's not going to do a whole lot. Uh, Noivern probably has... Actually, Noivern doesn't really get any coverage for this thing, so... Oh, and Ninetales gets freeze dry, so that's kind of scary if he brings it, and I'm really hoping he doesn't. Um, Tangrowth can come in on this, but I can trick, uh, Scarf 2 Tangrowth, which would be pretty ideal. Same with Incineroar, but Incineroar is not going to come out on a water type. Uh, Necrozma, I could trick the Choice Scarf off, and Casey is power... Meteor Beam, that'd be nice. Uh, next up, we have Jormungandr, the Renregus, rocking Rocky Helmet, Earthquakes, T-Spikes, Stealth Rocks, and Body Press. I'm running Body Press this week because if he brings Licky Licky and I don't... Like, Earthquake does damage, but I want something to hit it harder than that. And... Honestly, I, this is my, like, lead, probably. Lead gets KO'd by something, maybe I can go out to Volcarona and actually press Quiver Dance this time, unlike last week, that was kind of frustrating. Uh, next up, we have our Sand Setter again, Darude, uh, rocking Assault Vest, the, kind of the same set I ran last week, just 
4 attack, AV, special defense, all oh, max. I just want this thing to come in and wall the low on Ninetales a bit better than most things could. And it does a decent job. And then Iron Head Shidoko. And then if that doesn't, I also have... I'm bringing Alolan Dugshiro this week, which is actually our KO leader. It has 7 KOs in 5 weeks so far, which isn't all too impressive, but it's still good. It's not the kill leader in the league. That's... I believe that's still Urshifu. Urshifu and Hydreigon are tied. But... Scarf, Sand Forest, because can't run Sandville, and I don't think I would anyway. It's, like, I, I get why it's banned, but definitely too RNG based for me, because I don't get that lucky. Alright. Anyway, I should be getting into the battle soon, so see you soon. Alright, everyone, and we are back. Uh, battle should be starting soon. I'm just getting documents set up. Or, uh, dock for the logs. Logs. New York Yankees. Harrisburg. Hit my Alright. Alright, pressing A now. I have a camera ready just so I don't need to worry about typing it right away. He brings four out of f six of what I thought he would bring. He doesn't bring the Surfetched, which is really good for me. He does bring the Rhydon, which isn't surprising, to be honest with you. Um, this seems... He doesn't bring the Noivern either. Okay, wait, he brings three out of six. Sorry, he didn't bring the... Wait, what didn't he bring? He didn't bring Surfetch, Noivern. Ah, that's it. Okay. I think I just want to lead Poindexter, because I think he'll lead Rhydon. I could be wrong, but this seems fairly safe. Um. Yeah, you know what? Alright. We're going to confirm. And we're gonna type up the logs. I'll fix this stuff in a minute. So he leads Incineroar. Okay. You could just go out to Jellicent here. He's, he's Intimidate, unsurprisingly. I'll update stuff in a second. I'm just trying to focus on getting that set up. I think... I don't think he goes out to ride on here. But at the same time, I think he kind of has to. Right. You know what? We're going to Hydro Pump. If he goes out to Jellicent, that's fine, but I'm really expecting the Rhydon to come out. He'll probably find out we're Scarfed. He could just go for a Parting Shot, which means I'm faster. He goes for the Parting Shot, most likely. Does this KO? It does. Uh, Rotom, Wash, KOs, Incineroar with Hydro. What wants to come in? Uh, I'm still updating that stuff. Give me a minute, guys. Sorry. Alright, so Tangrowth comes in. I think that this is just... Uh, it gets Sludge Bomb, doesn't it? Oh, it gets Poison Jab. Um, What do I feel like is likely a Grass-type move? Alright, we're just gonna go out to I'm Smurfing. See what happens here. Oh, I don't have Incineroar on this. Alright, we're good now. Alright, it goes for Knock Off. That's fine. That's just my leftovers. So now I can go for a... I want to see if he stays in. I'm going to go for a U-turn. If he stays in, he's probably going for a Poison-type move, is my guess. 
That's a pretty safe bet, honestly. All right, and now I can update this. All right, so he's gonna switch out into a lull with nine tails. That's fine. I can go out to Tyranitar here freely. Yeah, this is a free switch into Tyranitar. I can get Sand up. I can pretty freely click a uh, Iron Head here. Because what's the worst thing that comes out is Jellicent. Or Tangrowth, but honestly, I think I can handle Tangrowth pretty well. He might just go for another knockoff. So getting Sand up here just means he can't put up Aurora Veil, which is really nice. Alright, we're going to hit Iron Head. Nothing wants to take an Iron Head. This is better start than last season. Or last last season, last week. Alright, speaking. As you can see also, he's 2 and 3 plus uh, with a plus 3. I think he just... He has to go out to something. Yeah, he can't stay in. He probably goes out to Tangrowth again. Oh, he goes out to Rhydon, so I get a free Iron Head on this thing. Won't do a, It won't do a whole lot, let's be real here. I think that's to be expected. What does Rhydon get? He might just set up, take this time to set up rocks. I don't think he, I mean, I can just press. Uh, I can just go for another iron head. I mean, he'll probably set up rocks, but that's fine. He's faster, which means not a whole lot. That doesn't tell me a whole lot because Tyranitar is... Actually, it tells me that he has some speed invested. Okay, that's really important to know. I'm just going to keep clicking Iron Head. I don't think Rhydon can... Actually, probably has a fighting type move. I think I just made a mistake. If I go out to Volcarona on that, I could Giga Drain it. I kind of wish I had. He goes for Earthquake. Okay, that shouldn't KO me. It doesn't. We're gonna get another Iron Head off. I mean, the switch is so obvious, but it's so... It, this is an obvious switch, but it, I think it's a... I think it's a good switch. I think he just... He has to click something other than Earthquake here. So I don't think he has a fighting type move either, which is important to know. Alright, he goes for Smackdown. That's fine. Does a decent chunk of damage. Alright. I'm actually probably for the best I didn't go out to Volcarone. I don't think it kills him that. Alright. I don't think he keeps this thing around. I think he's just gonna sack it at this point. It put in work. It put rocks down. It got Tyranitar really low. If he goes out to Tangrowth, good play. He does go back out. Or Jellicent. I should have Volt switched. I just didn't expect him to keep it out. Misses anyway. Okay. Um, this is a pretty easy switch, I'd say. Yeah, let's just go back out to uh, Whimsicott. If he goes for the poison type move, then he, like this, that's a pretty fair play from him. But I don't think he has poison jab. He hasn't used it yet. He doubles back out into a Lolan Nine Tails. So that's a fair play. I mean, if I go for taunt here and I'm wrong, I have to go for taunt. Because I, I think anyway, maybe I didn't. Alright, we'll see if it's Aurora Veil, but I just lost my Whimsicott. If it's not, it's going for Moonblast. Okay. That shouldn't KO? That's fine. Uh, that did a lot of damage. I'm kind of thinking it's Specs now. Right, you know, let's make the big boy play. If it's Specs, he probably just switches out, but... 
I keep he just keeps chipping my Pokemon. It's not the most ideal situation for me. If he goes for the ice type move, good play. I just don't think I think it's I mean what is this? Turn two of hail? Turn three. I can't keep track of my weather turns. He went for the read on Tyranitar. He tried to spec it. Alright, that was a good read. It, that specs. That specs damage all the way. That specs nine tails. Honestly, nothing wants to really take an iron head. Um. All right, he withdraws probably out to the Tangrowth. No, he's just gonna sack his ride on. Okay. So that's right on down. That's a really big KO for me. This battle's definitely not over though. So it's Specs Ninetales. Good to know. Kind of mad I taunted. I should have just. I mean, if I double back out to Tyranitar, it's gone. I could have doubled into Tyranitar, gone out to Volcarona, Quiver Danced, and then maybe been fine. I just don't know what wants to take an Iron Head. Because, like, Tangrowth probably does but it definitely does not like it. it gets a rock type move i'm pretty sure too so i can't just switch out to volcarona willy-nilly yeah it gets ancient power i think that's the only thing it gets for rock though i don't think it gets rock slide i'm checking right now on the side uh yeah it gets rock slide i didn't put that down when i was like preparing Huh. Yeah, it gets Rock Slide, so I can't do shit against it. I also need to cross model the way this thing is really not okay. I'm just gonna hit Iron Head. I mean, I don't think it sets up on me, but I'd also really like a flinch game, please. Because if it autonomizes, it, this becomes a really hard fight. I can Tailwind Whimsicott, though. Tailwind Whimsicott, Bug Buzz, Volcarona, and be fine. If he autonomizes. I just really prefer if I don't need to do that. I mean, if he autonomizes... Uh, 79 speed times... Is autonomize plus 2? I can never remember. <sighs> I'm checking it out. So he uses Autotomize, it's plus two speed, okay. I'm not really surprised. Uh... I mean, I could sack Tyranitar here, get Sand up, go back out. Uh, is that the play though? Um, what do I really need this thing for anymore? Nothing really. Um, cause I can. S I need White Snake still. I don't need Darude. Right, we're gonna switch out. So he gets a KO. Necrozma will KO Darude. I want to get the chip on him. He uses Photon Geyser, so he goes for the Psychic type move. Which means I get an extra turn out that I, I don't think I really wanted that either. He uses Brick Break. Alright, so... Krasma KOs Titar with Brick Break.
this thing lives, right? Like, it's not just gonna die on rocks. I don't think it dies on rocks. I think it will live very low. Alright, it's... Okay. Alright, we're gonna go for Tailwind here. Uses photon geyser. Alright, Necrozma definitely is in range for Volcarona to come out and kill it. We're gonna use Bug Buzz. The Necrozma put in work. I prepped for it, definitely, but I really didn't expect him to bring it. I just felt like it didn't do a whole lot against my team. If he switches out into like I mean, if he switches out in anything, like, I can pretty freely beat his team with Volcarona now, because Tailwind is up. Tailwind being up, just... Oh, I haven't updated my team at all. Alright, so... Tyranitar is down, and Wims is down. Wims put in enough work, though. I wonder if he's Kelking if he's faster. I don't. Th he shouldn't be faster. All right, he switches out into a Lolan Nine Tails. Oh, Jellison. I mean, what does Jellison do? It probably scalds me. But I can go plus one if lefties. I could go plus one pretty easily. I think the sand being up is really annoying though. Do I just quiver dance in this thing's face? I think I just take Giga Drain. Be safe. He's gonna stall out the Tailwind times for a uh, Nine Tails. I think that's the right play from him. Nine Tails is out sped otherwise. That thing is really bulky. Maybe if I set up a quiver dance, like, what's he gonna do? Oh. Alright, he has nightshade. I should have quiver danced. How long does Cursed Body last? Four turns. Alright. Um, we're gonna swap. Does that KO now? Okay, he uses recover. Team's Tailwind petered out. That's really bad. Jellicent's such a bulky Pokemon. So he switches out to Tangrowth. Yep. I should have just Volt Switch. Because this is going to do no damage. My answer to Tangrowth is Volcarona. I 
I mean, at this point, I have to get Rune Regis out, and I have to just set up hazards. Paralysis would be nice, but it's not gonna happen. Oh, it happens! That's bully. So he KOs Rotom Wash. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. Um. What item is this thing? Oh, it's probably Assault Vest. Uh. Oh, we're gonna trick it. Fuck it. Let's take its item. I don't even care what it is. If it's taking me down, I want its item. It's Assault Vest, yep. It loses its Assault Vest, which is really important. Uh, I think the switch out is just into Volcarona and KO it. Revenge KO. So he goes out to Jellicent. That's a fair switch. Gonna reveal Fire Blast. Burn? Alright, Fire Blast being disabled doesn't matter. Right. We're gonna hit Quiver Dance this time. Because Giga Drain. If he's just gonna use Nightshade, I can Giga Drain and heal it. This is hard to win, not gonna lie, but it's definitely still winnable. I just... Right. If you use a Scald, that actually might be a bit better. He uses Toxic, okay. That means I just have to start clicking Giga Drain till I get it disabled. I really hope it doesn't get disabled. He's disabled two moves right now. Let's just Giga Drain. He'll probably just recover Stall Moon. That's a 2 hit KO. Just please no Cursed Body again. He's gonna recover. He has to. Yeah. I don't know how I break this. It's just so bulky. Uh, let's just go to Renegus and set up on set up spike T spikes and stuff. He withdraws. All right, so he's gonna go out to Nine Tails. Let's just go for Earthquake. Uses Weather Ball, huh? I don't know if that KOs. That specs. Oh, it doesn't! Earthquake, this is huge. I don't know if this KOs, but it will definitely do a lot. Oh, that didn't do nearly enough. Alright. That's, this was in my favor and it just, it got away from me a little bit. I think this just reveals I'm scarfed for him.
I mean, he's got to switch out to Necrozma. It's Tangrowth that comes in. Okay. We're going to play this game. He doubles. I wasn't... Huh. That's wrong. Alolan, Dugtrio, Chaos, Necrozma with Iron Head. I'm just gonna keep White Snake out until it KOs. Like at this point. Wait, is Renrigus down? It is, okay. Duh. I wrote that. We're gonna para flinch him at this point. It alright. Nah. It kinda just comes down to this. What are the odds he keeps Tangrowth? I just don't see a reason for him to not keep Tangrowth in. Yeah, I'm right. Alright. I think this is lost, but we definitely... It was a hard fought loss. I think I have to do plus two. Let's go plus two and see what happens. Uh, Jellison is the one that's up. Tangrowth is down. All right, he's gonna Nightshade. All right, I'm just gonna start Giga Draining and hope for a crit. Three crits in a row, please. Game Freak. RNG gods. I thought Giga Drain would be enough for this thing, but it's just so bulky. What are the odds he doesn't recover? He uses recover. Damn it. I'm doing over 50% too, so a crit would be huge. Oh, it's not even much. And hit the leftovers really makes this hard to win. Just gotta keep hitting Giga Drain. Go plus one, just keep hitting Giga Drain and hope for a crit or something. Nah, with the leftovers, he's healing enough. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. He's gotta do what he has to do. If he doesn't recover, he loses the battle. So he's back to full. I could really use a crit. I don't know how many more toxics we can move. Or like toxic turns we have. Let's just press Giga Drain again. A crit would be so nice. Nah, he's not. I'm not going to get a crit. It is what it is. I just... How many PP does Recover have? Because I don't know. I think it's 16, right? It's 16. Yeah, so he has at least a handful. A crit here doesn't KO, I don't think, but it definitely... A crit would be so nice. Leftovers is really annoying. <sighs> Just 
Just gotta keep hitting Giga Jiren and pray. I swear it's doing less damage. If I had gone plus two, would it have made a difference? I don't think it would have. Now that poison's really starting to hurt, I can't not Giga Drain. Maybe if I had just set up like three to one shot up. He could probably speed this up by nightshading at any point now. But then if I don't, if I quiver dance, he probably just uh, nightshades me and I die anyway. A crit here would be fantastic. Alright, he wins. It was a closer battle, but this last, this should be the last ticket Toxic needed. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it's not? I have one more turn to try and do it. Come on, Giga Drain, please. Please, crit? Nah, there's no crits. That did more than it should have, I think. Uh, it was a high roll. It doesn't matter. And... Giga Drain gets disabled to make it worse. <sighs> Good game. Uh, I wish I had Quiver Dance more. I think it's the only thing at the end of the day that I can say I really misplayed. If I had Quiver Dance twice, his recovery wouldn't have been enough. Oh, you know what? It was a close battle, but I think with that loss, it guarantees we miss playoffs, too. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I think Jerry also has a, uh... A YouTube channel, so that'll be in the description, like, always. Anyway, I will see you guys next week. I believe we take on the Minneapolis Absolutes. Let me check the schedule. Uh, week 7, we are battling the New York Blastoise, actually, not the Absolutes. Week 8 is the Absolutes. Okay. So, I think that means no playoffs, though, unfortunately. It was a... It was hard-pressed to get in anyway. This was a close battle, though. Good game, Jerry. Good game to his team. Good. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.